Greetings, dear people of Normandale Lutheran Church. I'm just giving proof that I'm still showing up for work today. There's wonderful things happening this week, and you can follow that all on our announcement page. But you know what? Since this is my final midweek video for you to talk about the life of the church, all that we share together in ministry, it's going to be more of a retrospect so that I can share with you all the things that I'm going to remember about our beautiful 14 years together. So join me in this journey as we hear more about all of that wonderful life that we have shared together. And as you well know, I'm really just a preacher with a baseball disorder. So it only seemed fitting that I would share something magnificent about America's greatest pastor as part of this video. So dear people, take a watch. Dear people, join me now for this journey as we use this beautiful facility of ours to share together so many memories about being God's people together. Come on along. There is so much that I'm going to remember, beginning with the preschool and the blessing place, this place where children entered into our community. As Jesus said, if you want to become a member of the kingdom of God, you need to become like a little child. And they reminded us every day with their bustling sounds, their feet moving through the building, their voices both crying and laughing and celebrating life. I will remember the blessing place where I had the great honor and privilege of working alongside my wife, Lisa, for 10 years. And all the ways in which we, in turn, as a part of Normandale Lutheran Church, have been blessed by children. And now Carrie Warnke in the preschool carries on in the beauty of this ministry as we live on behalf of all those who come after us. I will remember. And this is the fellowship hall built in 1959 as the foundation for the worship space above. And about these spaces, Pastor Donald Carlson said this, I hope that the congregation of 2019 gives thanks for the people of 1959. For in this space, we gather for sacred meals. Whenever God's people eat together, it is sacred and holy as God nourishes us in body, mind, and spirit. The sights and sounds of this space carry so much. Memories of Bible studies shared together, children playing during vacation Bible school, and all the ways in which we gather together to be God's people in fellowship. Come on along. And here you'll see the beginnings wall that captures 1950 and Pastor Donald and Marie Carlson putting together a new congregation in the place called Edina, going door to door to encourage people to gather for worship. And from that humble beginning, we remain on this site still today. We give thanks for all of God's people upon whose shoulders we stand as we go forward into the world to give witness to Jesus Christ. Come on along, we got more to see, more to remember, more to discover. More to see, more to find, more to celebrate. Follow me. Here we go. sharing together in worship, jumping up and down and dancing around to the glory of God. I will remember people sitting quietly in humble devotion in the season of Lent or walking the prayer maze or just lighting a candle in the back to remember one of their dear people. I will remember this beautiful fabric on earth as in heaven, commissioned in 2021 remember all those from our congregation who died during COVID. I will remember 
that we are God's people together beneath the cross of Jesus. I will remember you in this space. I will remember this. God's people together over coffee and donuts on Sunday morning post-worship, sharing together the stories of their lives, making friends, the cacophony of sound that fills the fireside room every time we gather in this space. I will remember that sound with great joy and love for you all. Come on along. Good enough. I will remember being here together with you, reading God's word in worship, listening with the discerning ears of faith all together for greater understanding and growing in our trust for God. I will remember your listening ears that you attended to my work of interpretation and held the words together with me of God's grace and love for all of us. Oh, and I will remember this block. I will remember all who came to the water to be baptized so that we might all be reminded that when we were baptized, the heavens were torn open and the Spirit of God came down in the form of a dove and landed on each one of us. And God's voice was hear, heard to say, this is my child, dearly loved, with whom I am well pleased. I will remember this water. And I will remember God's most sacred and holy meal, the body and blood of Jesus Christ given and shed for us, the reminder of God's abundant forgiveness that makes us whole, free, and new. Come on along. I will remember preparing spaces, the house of God for God's people. As Jesus said, in my Father's house there are many rooms, and I go to prepare a place for you. To be the people of God is to prepare places for everyone to come and know they are at home. I will remember right behind me this prepared space called the fishbowl, as we move into this beautifully prepared space, we remember that Jesus said, put the child in your midst. And here they gather for times of fun and fellowship and learning and most of all, friendship. Because the truth of the matter is, we are all just children wanting to know that we have a place and a people to whom we belong. Come along. I don't have to run, it's right here. Center for Healing and Wholeness, a place where we have formed a ministry across 25 years to help elders both within our community and around our community to age in place. By having resources available, they partner with us to tend to the elders in our midst as a sign of Jesus' love for them. We give thanks for this ministry and this space that houses for them a place to belong. Come along. And we have prepared a space all the way at the opposite end of the building here on the south side called Trinity Commons. Just in this last Vision 2025, the generosity of the people came forth so we would have a beautiful outdoor space to gather. Come and see.
I will remember even what's out ahead, what has yet to come as you gather in the space to worship, to remember dear loved ones, to celebrate children, all the things that make this such a beautiful space. I will remember the joy we have in being together. I will remember God's word being spoken. I will remember the sounds of the birds and the rush of the wind, all the ways in which God's spirit blows through the world and into us. And at the end of it all, I will remember our dear elders who have gone before us, the communion of saints that transcends life and death and knits us together across time until one day we are all united together again in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, boldly and confidently saying, we too shall live but yet and with you I will remember that promise because dear people most of all what I will remember are your spirits knit together with mine thanks be to God still got it peace be with you